Um, well, my business name is Karen Bennett Photography. It was Pepper Potts Photography, but I've just done a rebrand um, because I felt that I needed to be the face of my product. So um, I've got my big brave pants on and, <laughs> um, and, and gone for it. So, um, so yeah, Karen Bennett Photography, I've been going now for, well, it'll be three years this January that I started my, my business. Um, but prior to that, um, it's probably taken me about 11 years to get to this. What do you take photographs of, Karen? Now it's pets. Any pets, uh, cats, dogs, horses, and also uh, children with their pets or families with their pets. So it's all about pets. I started out with um, wedding photography, uh, food photography, portrait photography, <laughs> a whole lot. Um, and then I, re I had this sort of moment. I love my dog. I was I had my own livery yard when I before children, so animals were my life, and it was like, what are you doing, Karen? That's what you want to do. So that's what we did. I I built a studio in the garden, um, invested quite a lot of money in that, and uh, and gone on from there. And pets is all I do. So that you are focusing on pets, do you? believe that do you think that you're happier in your work because you're just doing something that you love oh totally yes yes that i yeah i don't want to do anything else yeah you're just just focusing on one thing you know and families that love their pets and i'm gonna love those people and i love that you say that you know you're going to love these people because they share your values, don't they? You, you love your pets, you love your animals, they're passionate about animals. You've got this really strong connection before you even meet. It's just, wonder, it's just such a wonderful thing to share with somebody. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you don't mind me asking if you can tell us how old you are, Karen. Um, I turned 56 this month. The reason I want to chat about that is because that means you started your business at the age of 53. Tell us what, what made you make that decision? My girls really, um, growing up and they didn't really need me so much. And I thought, you know, I need something for myself now. I need something to put my energy into. Um, and I, I didn't want to actually be ringing them up saying oh I've got nothing to do today do you want to meet up for a coffee or you know mummy's home alone <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I don't ever want them to feel that they've got to come and see me because I've got nothing else to do do you know what I mean so and it, and also god I'm I'm so energized I want to do things I've seen I see myself doing this until I'm in my 80s for goodness sake I'm, I'm excited for this next stage in my life, you know. So Karen, you're three years into your business. You jumped into the Togs and Business membership. So tell me a little bit about what was going on at that time that made you think this was something you might need. It can be quite lonely being a photographer on your own. And I felt like I needed a little bit of support from people who understood and um, were, were doing the same sort of things. It just seemed like a no brainer to me. What was the main thing you felt you had challenges around? I think confidence issues for me um, to put myself out there. I, I, I needed to some, somebody to sort of basically hold my hand a bit really. And um, a bit of guidance. This comes up a lot. It's good that you've brought it up because the confidence thing comes up a lot. Issues with self-worth, belief, confidence, um, negativity. You know, I think as, like you say, it can be very lonely when you are in business for yourself. Um, and as wonderful as it is, it can be lonely. And sometimes when you are working alone, that negative inner voice can start speaking to you and you, you can you can do the whole comparison thing comparing yourself to other photographers and 
oh, I try not to. I try not to look at other people's work because I want to try and get my own style. But um, it, it happens all the time. You see things coming up and you think, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. It's, the, it's the curse of Facebook because as photographers need Facebook, we, yes. can't, we can't really run a business these days without it. So we need to be on there. And then when you're on there, you can't help seeing what other people are doing. And then all of a sudden you start thinking, should I be doing that? Or you compare your work to theirs and find that yours is maybe lacking and oh, it's a curse, an absolute curse. What is it so far in your journey in togs and business? What is the thing that you have got the most from? Yeah, I, I, I can't say enough about togs and business. You've been, you've been really, really great for me. The most from in a collection of things, the, the website building, was fantastic i mean you are offering so many things if only you, you had been around 11 years ago yeah it possibly could be quite overwhelming so how do you how do you manage the improvement and growth of your business without becoming completely overwhelmed by everything that you have to do i think you have to do it in chunks and i think you need to goal set not, uh, I mean, I do two weekly commitments, I do monthly goals, I do quarterly goals, and I do yearly goals. And wow. I, I can't stress enough how important that is, because then you don't get completely bogged down with what you've got to do. You, you, you can see it in paper, on paper, and um, work it out. Karen, you have been, you've been part of an accountability group within Togs in Business. Can you tell me a little bit about your accountability group and how that's helped you? Oh, I love them. They're such lovely girls. And I hope that we meet up one day. Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's, it's so, isn't it amazing that you can have this online virtual relationship with people that you've never actually met in person and you feel like you know them, you feel like you're friends. What kind of photography business owners would be a good fit for, for this? Seriously, it's got to be photographers who are really serious about setting up their own business or have their own business and want to move it forward. Yeah, I think that it's, it's important to know that there's work involved, isn't it? Your content is so helpful, so powerful, that you really need to have people that are wanting to do it, really, really hungry for it. And it needs to be used. How much time do you spend actually working on your business in comparison to shooting? Probably 70% of the time. Yeah, that's, that's it, isn't it? And it really actually is that much. It really is. It really is. You yeah. know, you've got to value the time, the work that you're putting in. The, the love that you put into it, you've got to get also something out of it. If everybody did your pricing course, um, we would all be better off. <laughs> we just need to get everyone to do that pricing course. <laughs> because you've got to value yourself. So tell me, Karen, what is next for Karen Bennett Photography? What's the, the next move? It would be lovely to have a Fiona. <laughs> That's a great goal, yeah. So to basically to bring in a client manager or a, a studio manager. Yes, yes, that, that would be an ideal. I, I would love my sister to come and work for me, um, but I need to pay her, so I need to you know, sort that out first. If you are ever getting to a stage where you think you might bring someone in to help you, you have to think of it as... I will use the time that they are saving me mm -hmm. to get more clients or to refine my business model so that I am charging more and earning more. So if you think about it like that, you don't think about, um, oh, I don't have the money to pay them. You think they're going to earn me more money. They're yes. going to pay for themselves and more. And actually, when you think about it like that, you can take on a Fiona anytime you like. So I think some people bring someone on and then they maybe 
take more time off. Yeah. And actually in the early days, you really have to just work the same amount of time to set up all your systems, to automate everything. And that person pays for themselves within a couple of months, really, if you're using that extra time wisely. If you, if you really want to do it, I wouldn't delay. I would go for it. It, there's, it really puts a rocket up your backside <laughs> when you've got someone to pay. <laughs> it really does. It's a real motivator. Karen, I can't thank you enough for chatting with me today. And I will catch up with you inside the membership. Super. Thank you, Julie.